All right, boys, the next episode. Let's go ahead and start it off today with some room coin exchanges like we discussed last time. I do believe the Ring of Greed is 5k, but that might be with a discount on it. I'm gonna start off by exchanging this and see if I can buy the ring instantly. I don't know if Iron Man get a discount on it or not. But before we do any more, we wanna make sure we get that bonus. You know, it, it does cost more 7,500 for us. Damn, we'll donate our inbox. Okay, so we need a little bit more. No problem. 1500, that's not quite enough, is it? There we go. Just make sure we have enough. And then for any future exchanges, we'll be getting the full amount, which is gonna be very nice. Just one of the first items to get, you know, very nice. Good in the wilderness and stuff. Don't need greed elixirs to get the effect. Now we'll get a nice little additional amount of room coins if we exchange stuff. I think I want to sell the Book of Infinity as well. Did I lose my Tome of Fire? I, I might have lost that actually, which isn't that big a deal. It's not that expensive. We'll go ahead and exchange the rest as well. Bag of token, any Kata tokens. Ooh, beautiful. Very, very nice. I think we should be able to make a little bit of extra money from the Mayhem coins we have, right? How much are these eggs each? 25k, so we can buy two for the time being. And they open for one to five M boxes each. Let's see what we get. Two from the first one, three from the second. That's not awful. That's 1.5 bill right there. On top of the other one M box we just had. Well, there are no imbued hearts and no Tomophias for sale. That is very unlucky. The guy also has his private off, so I can't even PM if I can buy the items back. Alright, well, since a lot of the items we need aren't for sale at all at the moment, I could spend 80,000 runex uh, points on fucking uh, Atom of Fire Eye if I really have to, but I kind of don't want to. It's a lot of runex points for an item that is normally sold quite a bit. If I can find some Essence Implinks, maybe I could get a regular Tome of Fire, and then I would only have to spend 40k runex points to imbue it again. That wouldn't be as bad, at least. 925 Slayer points at the moment. If we can get a little bit more soon, then we'll be able to get the uh, one of the colored Slayer Helms. That would be very nice for sure. Wait, the Impling Daily is one of the only dailies I've already done. Um, let's go do something else first and do that after it resets, huh? Ah, it's taking a little while. I don't want my dailies to reset without being able to do them like barrows and stuff. It adds a lot of value. So we're just gonna do the irresponsible thing and spend some runex points even though we're saving for so many other things that we need, but so be it. I mean, runex points will come in quickly the more, you know, you continue playing, the more you reach endgame and stuff, so it is what it is. Let's go ahead and imbue it again. Such a shame I lost that, I didn't think of that at all. Ah, oh well, it is what it is. There we go, Tome of Fire, I back. I don't have the imbued heart yet, but at this point I can use magic potions as well to still be able to use it. Gonna go ahead and put my spells back on the defensive as well, so we can start gaining some uh, experience in that again. Start leveling up our defense. Then at, at some point I will go ahead and start training the uh, attacks, trained, the, all of that good stuff as well on the side. It will come soon enough. For now, let's go ahead and focus on just getting all the dailies done, because we have less than two hours. Still quite a few to go. Ankus, Green Dragons. You know, it would be smart to do the wildy tasks first while I'm still low level, but the level ain't gonna rise that much, and I honestly don't give a shit. I just wanna get it done with. Ugh, we still have to train our agility for Revenant soon as well, goddammit. I'm gonna go ahead and spend 500 mil on a Gilded Cannon set, and let's go ahead and buy 10k Cannonballs. It's reasonable. Um, because Fire Shades are so fucking slow without it. I also really feel like I should get a better staff. I will have to train my attack to wear other things. Smoke Battle Staff ain't quite it. I would love to get like a Brimstone Staff, but that shit's like 8 bill. And this thing, this stuff might take a little while to sell. Or maybe the Zemi Staff I, so I can auto cast Zemi Flames with more damage. Ideas, but the Fire Surge itself, it just doesn't hit all that high, especially off task. I actually got a uh, Amulet of the Damned from a black chest, that's not bad. Like 250 rune coins. Or perhaps useful when we get Elite Torex maybe? But I will probably use the Trimmed even though it doesn't really make a difference. Alright, that's the majority of the dailies that matter. I don't really care about the... Uh, uh, what the fuck they call Chaos Druids at the moment. Because it's 
a little bit too much effort in my opinion, honestly. I'm gonna go open these boxes because I can. Thrash though. Um, it's a bit too much effort for how little it gives. I don't like being in multi-combat. Two prize boxes, yeah, some more combat tokens, not bad. But we need to uh, start expanding and looking into some other goals that we uh, work on from here on out. Alright, decided to go run some barrows at least for a little bit. It's easy to get Slayer tasks for it and everything. Almost finished another task, which is nice. I'm um, just gonna, you know, try and get a bit more loot here. And there's also the barrows achievements. Nice to work towards those. When my dailies reset and I unlock everything again, I think I'll go ahead and start training my regular melee stats, you know, on rock grabs, experiments, all of that stuff. So we can uh, get those stats up and just unlock more abilities, more useful places, upgrades potentially. I really want to get 75 attack for a toxic staff of the dead, for example. Because it can also cast semi flames, but it will have significantly more damage than the semi staff, because this one is 0% magic damage. And on top of that, you will uh, be able to venom stuff. If something is venom, venom, venomable, is that a thing? <laughs> if you can venom the NPC, that's going to be quite a chunky amount of extra damage, so yeah. But we'll wait until the dailies are reset so we don't quote unquote waste the time there, so to say. I'm right, just going to try and get a few more Slayer points just so we can get the Slayer Helm upgrade because I think that's going to be worth it. Which one? Probably the... Like, this one doesn't even give magic damage, so that's fucking useless. Let's get the Holy Slayer Helm. Probably the best one until you finally get the uh, Fused. Alright, time to do some more dailies after the reset. Already did the Barrows one. Time to catch some Implings. Hopefully we can get some uh, Cursed M boxes along the way. Or even just one would be amazing, honestly. I'll take everything we can get right now. The items are selling so slow. Like, that is probably the worst part about playing a main right now. The eco moves so slow. There's just not enough main accounts, honestly. Like, simply put, it takes... Wow, great. Heartbringer. I might have to do that on MGI real quick. Um, but yeah, everything just moves a little slow. You know what I mean? So, ah, like, I could have already been using a... Oh, Dragon Imp. A uh, Brimstone Staff with an Arcane Stream Necklace at this point, if my shit just sold, right? It's not like you can just dump it cheap and it instantly sells, unless you, like, really go hard. They're like, yeah, sure, if I put in Crest for two bill each, they'll probably insta-sell. But at that point, it makes no sense, you know? That's such a huge cut-off. Why even bother? But, uh, yeah, Dragon Imp, uh, Nozzle Dragon Pickaxe, some good rune coins, to be fair. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go hop on MGI real quick to do that Heartbringer. I think I'm gonna go ahead and invest in a Brimstone Ring Eye. It's a little bit expensive, I'm not gonna lie. But I don't have the Runex points to enchant one myself. And it's just really good. It's really good for magic based on its effect. But then it's also good for ranged, melee, nice prayer bonus, great accuracy, and some defensive stats. So just like overall a really nice ring to have. We're gonna have to get started on the melee training grind. I'm probably still missing some items that I could use. Um, I don't even wear my Dragon Defender yet, but I'm also thinking about buying a pair of default boots, I guess. That's just kind of coming useful over time. Wow, they're really expensive. Last time I looked, it was like 1.5 bill. What happens? Oh, that goes quick. Look at that price increase from here. Huh. Either way, I guess that's gonna stay on hold for a little bit. I would also like to get some fucking gloves. But barrel gauntlets are just near un unacquirable because no one sells them for some reason. Ah, I really need to get a $10 bond so I can start fucking yelling and buy items through yell as well. You could use the CC, but it feels awkward, I don't know. I don't think it will be too expensive to just get ourselves some Karamja gloves tree. How much does this cost? 162 mil? It's not too bad. And I only need like 1200 more. Another 300 mil. Yeah, it's a pretty penny, but I think it's worth it. Karamja gloves free. What's the stats on those? 12 strength, etc. I don't have the achievements to buy like barrel gloves, so that's not a good idea right now. And I can just instantly wear them. Because I'm only 55 defense at the moment, but it don't matter for these. Same with the Curse Necklace, pretty fucking decent. Nice stats. I think we're looking pretty good to get started on training our first melee stats. <laughs> but if I have defense, why the fuck am I using iron? 
and I get like cur <laughs> it's not armor, cause like plate body and legs. Does anyone sell those? Cursed plate, plate body and legs. 574 mil for a set, 5 strength bonus, 3 strength bonus. I don't know what else exists that I could use right now that could potentially compete with these stats to be honest. I genuinely don't. Okay, let's just go with Cursed for the time being. Like I know I play a lot of Runex guys, but it's mainly been Iron Man, so I always acquired what I needed at any given moment and you just work with what you have. But trying to remember every single... Uh, I need a bit more defense for that, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Um, remembering every single item upgrade in the game and like when you have to get what next for what price, like... I don't know everything from the top of my head either, but we'll figure it out together, you know? And maybe I'll make some mistakes along the way, but that's not gonna kill us. Okay, I'm buying the Cursed Helm as well. It's a bit more expensive though, sadly, but so be it. Then we'll also have a full... Yeah, okay, I can't use it right away still. I need to get 70 death, but it will allow us to, uh, when we do wilderness stuff and using full Cursed, get that one attack speed increase, except with melee with that set. So, yeah, let's get on to some training, boys. Woohoo! Did a few of my dailies, the ones that mattered, and <laughs> the ones I could do for now. And now I'm just gonna do some easy Slayer tasks to get a few more Mayhem coins, Slayer XP, Slayer points, all of that bullshit. So I can train my uh, melee stats with relative ease and get like the damage bone from the Slayer Helm, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and then like probably after like 75 attack I can use the, the Mayhem Whip, maybe I'll start doing like Brimstone Slayer and shit as well. We'll see how it goes, just wanna get my combats up in peace. And not show too much to you guys, because I feel like it's really boring. It's kind of boring to do. I think it will be even more boring to watch. So we're going to skip as much of it as we can for you guys. All right. So an interesting event just got started while I was offline for a bit. The Valor of Heroes. I already mentioned it in the group Iron series, so I don't know which video will end up being uploaded earlier. But uh, it definitely makes more of an impact for the group Iron Man due to the double raid loot that you can get here. Wait, did they just change it to 5? What? Very weird, I don't know why it just says 5 on mine, because it says 8 on Raymond. As a matter of fact, it says 8 on everything. Maybe it's because it's the first account that checked it out, and there's like a security thing if you do it on the second account, which is... You know, oh yeah, 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 you get less rewards and everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, okay, that's cool. So you, you, we can still get something out of it, which is nice. Do some daily money. <coughs> Whoa. Daily money makers for luck tokens and all of that. But we get a little bit less of a bonus. So yeah, all with all pretty cool. Can still get some rewards for it. Definitely the uh, voting one and triple slayer points earned for up to five tasks. I think that is automatically started. We sadly still have a fire fiend task. I think I could skip that and do three wilderness tasks for significantly more points potentially. Isn't this a beautiful sight for sore eyes in the morning? Every single thing I sold except for the magic tokens, but that ain't even too shabby. Can't find a chat duel, haven't been able to for days, like literally no one does it. But outside of the magic tokens we get 12 point something bill, 12.7 and then another 3 bill in magic tokens in the bank. Might take a while to sell, you're basically waiting for a main account to go for the log, but that's fine, I do suppose. This is a uh, chunky amount of cash that we can definitely put to good use. Just have to find the good use first, that's all. Just realized that now that we have a uh, 1000 total level, we can also go ahead and buy a little skilling backpack. I think the next one does require like a 1500 total level if I'm not mistaken. But let's go ahead and double check real quick. Section, I keep misclicking, very nice. Yeah, this one does require 1500, so we don't need it right away. Also 40% for a Ring of Wealth Eye and Rune Coins. That may uh, wait a little bit, but I got the Varrock Play Buddy just now, just for a little bit more XP. Just gonna power train a little bit, because like I said yesterday, I want to do those five Slayer tasks in the wilderness for significantly more points. Um, so we're not gonna do a task right now, I skipped the Pia Fiends, but I am gonna have to train up my melee stats a bit if I wanna do some sort of wildy task, I definitely need to be able to deal more damage to things. So we're gonna start off with experiments, because I still have an achievement open for that. 
Now after that, I'll try to find something similar, you know? Something I, I get an extra benefit out of killing outside of the experience. 